yeah, I think someone slashed your tire. I think someone's put a knife in your tire. Hannah flipping Louia. I'm about to put myself through something, but I don't want to put myself through. Let's go and have a little come shop with me. We could do a quick little Adam Okay. I'm in Lululemon. Managed to find the white strawberries in M&S. This ski resort, classic ski wear. Good morning, everybody. Hello, happy Thursday. Welcome back to the weekly vlog. I wasn't going to vlog this week, but then suddenly changed my plan this morning, decided I would vlog. I mean, I'm starting it again on a weird day. I'm starting the weekly vlog on a Thursday because for some reason, I never seem to start them on a Monday, which would make the most sense. But this time next week, I'm going skiing. So I thought Thursday to Thursday, let's chuck in a little weekly vlog. I have no idea what this week's going to entail and what I'm going to be doing. I do know I need to pack for skiing. So we'll do a little pack with me. Um, I need to pop to Primark next week, so we'll do that. Uh, I think I might be seeing Mia next week. So yeah, I don't really know what the week will entail, but obviously we can, you know, go along together, we can see. But today is Thursday. I'm about to pop out with Mum. We need to get her tyre fixed because we think it's got a slow puncture and we're going home tomorrow. So ideally for a five and a half hour home trip, car trip, whatever you want to call it, the tyre should be fixed. So we're going to do that this morning and we're also going to pop out... So yeah, mum and I are going to get out and get a coffee, get the tyre sorted. I might also pop to Home Bargains whilst the tyre is being sorted. I did literally go there yesterday, um, but I really, really want the Sol de Janeiro dupes that they've come out with, but they didn't have them yesterday. So the likelihood that they're going to have had a delivery in between the time I went yesterday and the time I'm going today is probably very slim. But I'm kind of thinking whilst we're waiting for the tyre to be done, if I've got enough time, I might quickly book to home bargains because like they're right near each other so we might have a little home bargain strip today as well i don't know what this vlog is going to entail okay it might be really short it might be a little bit boring i don't really know hopefully it won't be i'll try and make it the best i possibly can be but i thought i would still vlog the week anyway because it's a weekly vlog it's my life this is real life baby <laughs> okay right let's go Look at how cute all Easter stuff is. I've got like a little bunny dip plate, this little bunny bowl. That mug is so cute. I've also seen um, this like Sherpa bunny doing the rounds on TikTok. And then look at these. I just picked this one up. White chocolate scented, 2 dollars There's a hot crust buns one and a carrot cake one. Oh my God, that candle is so pretty. Look at how cute this little bunny is as well. That is so cute for like a little Easter decoration. I love the rattan on that. Oh, and look, little wooden bunnies as well. I get asked about the lamp in my office all the time. It's like my most asked question. Mine's actually from the Audi mid -Lyle, but just found this one in Home Bargains for 19 99 instead. And it literally looks basically the same. It, mine's got a little bit more like white detailing on than this one does, but still, if you're looking for that kind of white company concrete lamp kind of vibe, Home bargains is a place to come. That is such a good price. Hello, we are now home. Am I wearing sunglasses inside? Yes, I am. I'm just not vibing with my appearance at the moment. Like, I definitely have a case of the winter uglies. I look like Casper the Ghost. I am as pale as I possibly have ever been in my entire life, other than when I came out the womb. Um, because actually I probably was more tan when I came out the womb because I probably had a little bit of jaundice and it gave me a little bit of a yellow tone and it gave me a little bit more of a tan. Uh, but if I have my sunglasses on, the lighting is so dark, but I'm also look like an idiot wearing sunglasses inside, but I just, oh, just have the winter uglies. I'm really pale. I've not faked tan in about two weeks and I'm not okay with it. I didn't want to wear my hair in a ponytail today. I really don't like how it looks today, but I went for a run this morning. So it didn't really give me much choice of wearing my hair down because it was really sweaty and gross. And I'm just not vibing with how I'm looking, but we are home. Home bargains was not quite as successful as I wanted it to be, i.e. there was not a single sign of a single soul of the soul, hmm, soul de Janeiro. Um, there was no soul de Janeiro dupes in there, not a single thing, uh, which I'm quite glad about. However, I did pick up some other things. We're gonna do the haul like this for my sanity's sake. So first up, I got the bunny. Um, I just thought it was really cute. It's like a little Easter decoration. I am that person that likes to decorate for Easter, Halloween, Christmas. I'm a little bit over the top like that. And I just thought this was really cute. Like a little rattan bunny. And I was gonna get the white chocolate candle, but I don't actually really burn candles. I normally buy them more for like how they look as like a decorative piece. And I said to myself, when I saw this, I either get the candle or the bunny. So I went with the bunny. I also got these, which was such a bargain. These were 1.99 each, but on the label it said they were meant to be 7.99. Or no, in fact, I think they might be like 14.99. Basically they were a home bargain. Um, I got the Bondi Sands, self-tanning face mist and also the self-tanning drops because I love a little bit of tan I mean I'm so pale at the moment I've not tanned for about two weeks which is why part of the reason why I have the um winter scaries also not done the nails it's all just going downhill for me okay so these were very much needed not really needed just thought they were a home bargain so I had to get them and then I also got these these were only a pound and I love these spot patch things it almost makes me excited to get a spot 
um, so I can put a little cute patch on them. I'm only recently, I'm a fairly newbie um, to the spot patches, so the excitement of being able to use them is still there, which I kind of love. And these were literally a pound. I mean, I don't know how good they're going to be, but you get 24 and they were cute and I thought I might as well try them. And then I just got these. Very rogue. I don't think these are actually the Swedish fish that they sell in America, but I've never tried Swedish fish and these were a pound. In fact, they were 99p, so I thought I might as well get them. And then there was nothing really else to do whilst the tire was being done. In fact, it didn't even get done, but anyway. So we had a little wander around. There was literally nothing. We were like, what are we going to do to kill the time? And then we just happened to stumble upon this random bakery. Mum's already put the things in Tupperware because we've got these to like have his little snack on the way home tomorrow. We got dad this little like boost Rocky Road thing. I got this um, Kinder Bueno brownie and then mum got um, this like millionaire's brownie. We had like blondies, um, cookie slices, cookie pies, like my kind of place basically. It was the most random thing ever because there was literally nothing. It was basically on like a housing estate and then there was just this random bakery. So that was weird. Oh, and then also, I did quickly pop into um, the co-op as well because they've come out with a blue Lucasade and also mini egg cookies. Are you joking me? And apparently you can only get them in co-op or at least I've only seen people be able to get them from co-op. So whilst we walked past them, I thought I might as well pop in. I haven't tried this. I will try this and let you know what it's like. And obviously, I mean, they look delicious. How was I going to say no to them? I wasn't. So that's a very random haul. A lot of things I basically didn't need, but I couldn't resist. And I'm just going to get packed, ready to go home tomorrow, which is super boring. Um, This is also a really boring haul because I didn't have my face in it. But what I was seeing in the viewfinder just was really getting me down. So that wasn't going to be happening. It is now 20 past four. I've just been doing a little bit of Instagram content planning. So I really want to get like proper on the Instagram game. Like I keep saying that, but... I really do, but I thought I'd have one of these to try. We got these yesterday. White chocolate and lemon hot crust buns. What do you think of them, Ridge? I think they sound delicious. Um, so I'm gonna have one of them as like a little mid-afternoon snack. I don't know if they still have um, like sultanas and stuff in, or whether they're just literally... Oh, I don't know that one. Neither do I, Alexa, babe. Um, I actually think, yeah. I feel like they're just like a bun with white chocolate and lemon, no sultanas. So I'm kind of here for that. I thought they'd sound quite nice. Mia also had these blue broom vanilla ones the other day and she said they taste like a blue broom muffin and I really want to try them. I think she got them from Asda, so I also want to try them, but I'm going to have one of these. I don't really know, like, do I toast it? Do I put butter on it like a normal hot crust bun or is that a bit weird? I am like, um, what's that thing? Hump back of Notre Dame. I feel like that trying to fit myself in frame here. Um, but the verdict is in. I am actually a big fan of these. I've just toasted them very lightly because it started to smell like it was burning. Um, and I haven't put anything on them because I just felt like butter was a bit of a weird option. I feel like either lemon curd or like a white chocolate spread would work really well, but both of which I have neither. So I've just done it plain, but it's actually got like lemon curd in it and then like the white chocolate chips are melted. So it kind of isn't too dry, you know, but I'm actually a massive fan of these. If you don't like normal hot crust buns because you don't like the raisins and the oranges and stuff, these are literally basically like a sweet little brioche dough thing with like white chocolate chips and lemon curd in. So a lemon jizzle cake kind of vibe. So if you like that, I feel like you'd love these. I'm a massive fan actually. I've also seen the Audi have come out with some Nutella ones and some Biscoff ones, which I want to try. And I also want to get the blueberry ones that Mia was talking about. So basically I feel like over the next few weeks, we're going to do like a little hot crust bun <laughs> tasting, trying... I don't mind a normal hot crust bun, but they're not my favourite, but these kind of like quirky different hot crust buns. I remember last year I got like double chocolatey ones and cheesy ones from M&S. But I feel like all the companies are starting to branch out with their hot crust bun flavours. What a boring conversation. Um, and I'm kind of here for it, basically. I'm a fan. Mm. Do you want to say hello? Say hello. Reg. Come say hello. You said hello. <laughs> I was just sat here, you know, minding my own business, scrolling from my Instagram stories, having a little look at Holly B Fitness. And then, look at this. This is how you know the croissant slash pastry obsession has kind of got out of hand. When Instagram ads are literally advertising croissant related things. They've advertised me this little um, croissant necklace and it opens up and it says flaky. I mean, I don't know if I love it or whether, mm, I'm not too sure. I don't think I will be purchasing, but... That's the state of the croissant obsession now, like the fact that Instagram ads have literally got to the point of advertising things to me and targeting me with croissant related things because they know I'm probably going to cave and buy them because the obsession is real. 
like I don't know if this is a good thing or not maybe this obsession has gone a little bit too far like the fact that Instagram know my obsession now is kind of a little bit scary good evening everybody it is about 10 o'clock now I'm just about to get into bed and this is the book that I'm reading at the moment which if you've seen last week's weekly vlog you'll all, you will blip, you will have already known that but just so I'd give you a little update I'm actually kind of loving it like I don't really feel like there's much of like there's no really like twists or turns in the book I don't really know what makes me love it so much because it's a pretty simple book but I'm actually loving it like I just really am enjoying reading it it's a really easy read so I would definitely recommend it to people I know she's quite a popular author but this is the first book of hers that I read and I'm actually really enjoying it like it's super easy I don't think I've actually got why are you not turning on I don't actually think I've got that much left wait let me where am I I've got um I've read 84% so I'm getting there with it and I'm actually really enjoying it so I would definitely recommend it I will probably start a new book at some point at the weekend and whenever I do I'll let you know um what I'm reading but I thought I'd give you a little update before I get into bed I'm literally about to get myself all tucked up into bed read my book which I'm really looking forward to but yeah I'm actually enjoying this book I would definitely recommend it just as like a a pretty like non-stressful like no murders no scary side paths just a chill easy book i would definitely recommend it anyway oh my kindle needs to be put in charge um i'm gonna get into bed and i will see you in the morning it's 2 36 in the morning i've just been woken up by the loudest crack of thunder i think i've ever heard in my life i mean you literally can't see anything because it's obviously pitch black but i wish i got it on camera but i was obviously asleep and it literally just woke me up because it was the loudest thing i've ever heard it's starting to go away now because it's getting like bigger gaps in between thunder and lightning and it's not as loud. I wish you could have heard that first bit of thunder, honestly. It was the maddest noise I've ever heard in my life. And the rain was so heavy a minute ago, like the rain was so loud as well. It was like the maddest storm I think I've ever experienced. It was so loud and so intense. Anyway, I'm going to go back to sleep. Peace out. See you in the morning. Right, are we ready to go? No, this actually isn't funny now. Look what's just come up. I've got another one. I think this is a completely different shop. Are they listening to me or what? Because I'm actually starting to get a little bit freaked out. Like, yeah, everyone knows I love a pastry. Okay, we get it. But like, this is getting a little bit creepy now. <laughs> Good morning! Hello everybody, happy Sunday. We are now back home. We are back in the familiar surroundings and we are about to be back on the running grind. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, the wall has been hit. I have hit the wall. I just have had enough of marathon training to be brutally honest. Like, I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. I've had enough. I don't want to do this anymore. I am much more of a Pilates girly and a yoga girly and I have realised that over the past couple of weeks. Like this morning, I would much rather go on my reformer Pilates machine and do an hour um, little like class, whatever I'm there, rather than doing a 10 to 15k run, which is what I'm going to be doing today. I was meant to do 25k, but I woke up with a headache and I just knew I didn't have it in me to do that today. So I'm just going to do like a shorter, longer run and then I'll have to do the 25k one next week. I don't know. <sighs> It just takes up so much time, like this whole marathon, let me just get myself ready, I'm just going to put my Apple Watch on. Um, I've had one of my little um, Quaker to go bars, love these, although again I am starting to get sick of eating these. I do also have a banana that I am going to try and consume. Um, but yeah, it just takes up, like it's so time consuming marathon training, like, <clears throat> do you know what I mean? And I'm just like, so many other things I'd rather do with my time and like, the past month or so, I've really just kind of hit the wall, like I've said. I've just not had the motivation. And, like, I just don't want to spend my whole week running and spend, like, and that's what it's felt like. Like, because the runs are getting so long now, like, I'm doing 25k runs, that takes up a couple of hours out of my day, you know. And obviously a couple of hours isn't really long in the grand scheme of things, but it feels long. And there's just so many other things I'd much rather spend my day doing, so I don't want to force myself doing something I don't want to do. Because at the end of the day, I'm not fussed about what time I run the marathon in, it's just a case of doing it. I don't care if I walk for some of it. It is just a case of showing up on the day and crossing that finish line. That's all I really care about. But then at the same time, there's also a part of me that's like, if I put all the training in, how much better will I be on the day than if I'm blase with it, you know? It's quite a difficult thing I'm finding. Anyway, I've got my um, blue Luke because I thought it would match my outfit. I'm going to give this a try because I'm going to take it on my run with me today. I'm actually going to run on the treadmill today, which is a new little thing for us. Someone in my village was getting rid of a treadmill the other day for free. So we took one for the team. We said, yes, please, I'll have that. And now we have a treadmill. I tried it out um, on Friday when we got home. 
just did a short run on it. And I do, I've heard a lot of people say that they find running on a treadmill harder than running out and about, but I like having the choice because when I run on the treadmill, I don't have to leave the house. I can't open this. Um, and I also can like watch YouTube videos. And actually, Jodie's literally just posted, I just saw it a minute ago, she's just posted her first Australia vlog. And I'm so excited to watch it because I'm desperate to go to Australia. So that is what I'm going to watch whilst I do my run today. But yeah, I did find the run a little bit harder the other day just because I didn't know what my pace was because I did my Apple Watch as an indoor run rather than an outdoor run. It didn't tell me what my average pace was. So I couldn't work out whether I was like, running slower or faster compared to what I normally run and I just I don't know I think it's just going to take a bit of getting used to but I'm going to give it another try this morning I'm also going to try this I can't work out what that is it's called blue force but what is that flavor I don't know fruity and that's i'm gonna have to google that because that's bugging me like i feel like i know what it is but i also can't put my finger on it exotic fruit flavor is what it says also why is someone like why is this on my recommended people also ask can you drink a seven-year-old lucas egg like who's googling that what does blue force taste like somebody help me out exotic so i can I don't know. To be honest, I actually don't know what that tastes like. But I'm gonna. I never normally drink Lucasaid whilst I'm running, but I know that Lucasaid is actually. In fact, it even says on here they're the official London Marathon sponsor. So I know, like, when Alana ran it last year, she said they gave out like Lucasaids for people whilst they were running. So because obviously it's like electrolyte and it fuels the performance and stuff, which I've just read off the label. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try actually drinking this whilst I run today because I don't have to carry it because I'm on the treadmill, which is another bonus. Right. Um, it's ten to nine on a Sunday morning. I'm about to put myself through something that I don't want to put myself through but somebody decided to sign myself up for a marathon so I only got myself to blame to be honest with myself. I'm going to get on that treadmill. I'm going to get this run done. I'll see you in a bit. Here she is. This is the treadmill. It's actually like so nice. Like considering this was a freebie, thank you very much. There's my little reformer Pilates machine as well. So I've got, got the whole setup going on here. Would much rather be on this this morning but I can't. I've got to be on this. <laughs> Run is done, breakfast has been had, shower has been had, hair has been dried. I used the Dyson um like brush. Let me just grab it. It'll be easier to grab it than me trying to explain it. I just used this um attachment today. I've used it once before. Um it probably would be better if I put it in rollers afterwards. I mean I've done my curtain bangs in a roller, but the rest of my hair I haven't because I can't really be bothered. Like it looks okay for now, this is definitely gonna drop out. Um, but I've literally only just done it like this just to dry my hair, so I couldn't be bothered. And now I thought we could try these, which I have had for the longest time i spent so long hunting for these um and then i finally found them and i've been waiting to try them in the weekly vlog and i just haven't got around to it and then the primark ps instant bronzing drops now i have actually seen that they've like re-come out with these in like this is just one shade they came in like this purple packaging literally like this but i keep seeing the new ones doing the rounds on tiktok they've got like a lighter shade and a darker shade and also these blush drops which i'm so desperate to get but because i've been in cornwall i've not been near primark for like the past two weeks i'm gonna go to the start of next week and hopefully I will manage to get my hands on them because although I've got these ones I'm really desperate to try the new ones but I thought we might as well we've still got sellotape on everything I thought we might as well give these ones a try today because I'm just having a pretty chilled Sunday at home it's already 12 o'clock like I honestly don't know where this morning has gone um I need to edit a video this afternoon and then that's kind of it for the day so I thought we could just do I thought like today would be the perfect day to try them out because I'm not really doing anything and I don't really well that came out so quickly and is so liquidy I was not expecting that this is what it looks like um, yeah, I'm not really doing much today, so I thought it'd be a good day to try them out. They kind of look a bit glittery. I also feel like, wait a second, I need to move my hair out of the way. I'm also doing this on white bedding, which terrifies me. I definitely, like, shouldn't be doing this. I'm just going to scoot forward because I don't actually have a mirror. I'm using you as a mirror to see what I'm doing. I literally can't see anything. Bear with. I'm about a year too late, but I could have bloody met Timothy Chalamet looking like this. I look like an Oompa Loompa. I've just put some makeup remover on this cotton pad because I'm taking this off. It's all sitting weirdly on my face. So I am bright orange as well. Like they are so bronzy. I think maybe like when I first put them on, they weren't too bad. But I think they've oxidized a little bit. I think I went a little bit too heavy handed. And now I literally look like the annoying orange. Like this is not okay. Like <laughs> Look at my face. Look at the color of that. That is horrendous. Oh my God. 
that was not an okay situation we won't be doing that again we will never be putting that much on i feel like i don't like i didn't put that much on but i think maybe like it's one of those products that you have to kind of be careful what you put on underneath it like skincare wise and stuff because it was just sitting really weirdly it was like piling up and then it went really really orange i think maybe oxidizes maybe if i managed to find the new ones i should get the lighter shade rather than the darker shade um i didn't bother retrying them because i just can't be bothered like i'm having a bad makeup day as it is my eyebrows look horrendous and it's already 12 o'clock and i've just got stuff to do so i couldn't be bothered to retry them so i just put um i just put a little bit of this on which is the peaches and cream sun tint it's a very similar concept just like a bronzing um liquid thing because i swear by this as you can see how much i've used i've had this for like a year and i use it pretty much like every day that i wear makeup sometimes i just wear it on its own sometimes i wear it underneath stuff but i literally love this you can get it on tiktok shop it's often out of stock but um if it's in stock i definitely recommend it but right okay before i get on with any other stuff i thought we could do a quick little ad mode haul because i picked up a couple well, i didn't pick up i ordered a couple of bits um last i was in cornwall and it's been delivered here so um i thought we could go through them so first up i actually like the main reason why i placed the order was because um they had some tote bags that i was really really loving like there's been a couple of times recently where i've gone to get dressed and i've wanted to like have a tote bag but like I've either got like absolutely giant tote bags or like a tiny one and I find it kind of wanted like a medium one that would like work with a lot so I picked up two from Adenola because I thought I would just like get them both in person and then I could decide so first up I got this one which just says Adenola on it um like this this is the kind of shape of tote bag I've been wanting as well so this was kind of perfect and I just thought like I'm really in my Adenola era at the moment like I'm just loving it so I got that one and then I did get this one actually I'm not even gonna bother unwrapping it I got this one okay and then the next day after I placed this order I saw someone had listed this on Vinted um and it was a couple of pounds cheaper on Vinted and I also just thought like it's a little bit more like environmentally friendly buying second hand so I ended up getting the one off Vinted instead but this is it so I was gonna basically have them both arrive and then decide between the two but when I saw this one on Vinted it was gonna save me like five or six pound I think and like I said it's a bit more environmentally friendly so I just bit the bullet and went with this one so this is like plain on the bag but then it says Adenola on the straps which I actually really love like I just feel like that's a little bit different um so we now have this tote bag for airport trips and god knows what else I don't know I just thought it's like a nice like athleisure little tote bag and then the last thing I got was just a top now there's a lot of things on Adenola that I could have got I could have spent a lot of money on there um I would just love a whole new Adenola wardrobe so yes but um, I did restrict myself and I just got this black top now I got this in an extra large because I'm hoping to wear it as like a little um is this gonna work is that the right fit I can't I'm trying to look in the mirror um mm, potentially i need to try it on um i thought it would be nice like an oversized t-shirt dress and i kind of thought potentially with i don't know i thought maybe with the bag but the writing on this is white and the bag is like a cream so i don't really think that works but i do have that black adenola cap let me see if i can just find it the one that i got last week off vintage that i showed you in the week this one i thought potentially could that look kind of cute together and then i do also have another adenola cap somewhere i also have this one which is like beige with black writing um again does i mean that would kind of work oh that would actually look really cute with the bag that would work but it doesn't really work for the top so i kind of just need to try that all out um but yes those are the bits i picked up from Adenola. like i said i could have spent a fortune but i didn't um i literally i mainly just placed the order to get the bags really and then i literally ended up getting the bag off vintage the next day anyway so it's a little bit of a pointless order but yes that is that today what am i going to do today i am going to try these i'm going to try the um mini egg cookies later i'm so excited about these i need to edit a sheen haul which to be honest i can't really bother to do and normally I try and like keep my filming and editing other than obviously like weekly vlogs to Monday to Friday. I don't normally edit on the weekends, but because I was away and stuff, it just worked out. I had to film the Sheen Hall yesterday and edit it today. So I do need to do that today. And then I've got a big box of charity um, stuff to take to the charity shop in my office that's been sat there for ages. And I just haven't got around to taking it to the charity shop because I just keep putting it off. But my mum's going to go there tomorrow. So I'm going to pop it in her car now so that she can take it for me. Um, so that is basically this afternoon's plans. Very, very boring. Um, I actually can't believe how much of a shampoo those prime up bronzing drops were. I feel like they have got potential. I just think I need to try them out with like nothing else on my skin and just do like a little bit. But they just, yeah, they were really piling around my eyebrows and like in between my eyebrows here, it looked horrendous. So, and also my hair at the moment, it keeps making me look like I've got a makeup line, but I don't like in that clip, right? This bit of hair here, right? 
that makes me look like I've got a makeup line, but I actually don't. Like that is just my hair, okay? I don't know why it's so orange, that bit of my hair. Maybe that's from fake tan. I actually do think I've kind of made my hair a little bit orange there from like fake tan. Like, cause I normally use like a serum or a spray on my face to fake tan. So I do think it kind of makes the bits of my hair around here a little bit orange, but it's not a makeup line. It keeps happening in vlogs sometimes. If a little bit of my hair kind of goes across my face like this, it literally looks like I've got a big like, orange makeup mask on and it looks horrendous and it really bugs me when I'm editing so I just wanted to do a little disclaimer there. I'm going to start rambling now, I'm actually incredibly thirsty. I've got some water over here but there's not really a lot left in it I don't think. Um, I bought this for Reggie off Aliexpress, he's just been sitting here in the past few days because I've been waiting to like give it to him but I got him this little like basketball teddy thing because as we all know the dog is ball obsessed and he used to have one like this from ikea it was just like a round like soft ball and he was literally obsessed with it and he played it played with it to the point that it basically fell apart and all the stuff and came out and we had to put it in the bin and every time i've been in ikea since i've tried to find it but they don't seem to sell it anymore and then i saw this little guy on aliexpress i think it's meant to be a jelly cat dupe but i don't actually know it kind of looks like a jelly cat but I've never actually seen it before, but I just thought he would love it. It was like seven pound. Um, it's got little legs on it, which he'll love so he can carry it around. And I thought we could give it to him today. So I thought I would take you along the journey because there is not much more of a happier recipient of a gift than a Reggie. Uh, he literally loves a new toy, so. Ta-da. <gasps> What's that? What is that? Look at his little tail. <laughs> you got it? <gasps> oh no. You can't see his tail as well. I'm trying to show you his face, but... <gasps> what have you got? <gasps> You're welcome. Do you want to go play with it? Whee! <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> I think he loves it. Everybody. happy Tuesday although it is not actually Tuesday and Tuesday was not a very happy day for me it is actually Wednesday but yesterday was a little bit of a shamble so I thought we could I'll give you a little bit of an update I'll give you a little bit of a story time as to my day yesterday and I also need to pack for skiing because I leave tonight to go and I haven't got a single thing in my suitcase so I thought we could do the two together when I'm telling a story I like to kind of you know let you imagine that you're there like I try and give you all the details what the smells were like what the weather was like so you can really envision that you're there so if you're expecting a quick story time, you're at the wrong place. Grab yourself a tea, grab yourself a coffee. Let's pack for skiing together and I'll give you a rundown of my day. For my hand luggage bag, I'm gonna go with this Longchamp one just cause it's like a really nice size. Um, it fits quite a lot in and it also has a zip on it. And then the suitcase, I know people are gonna be screaming that I've just done that. I put my suitcase on my bedding, but this bedding needs to go in the wash anyway because it's got dirty dog paw prints all over it. <laughs> The last time I took this suitcase on holiday was when I went to Vietnam and I um, bought Josh some rice as like a present when I got back from Vietnam and loads of the rice spilled in the suitcase and turns out there's actually still some rice in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this but um, I've only got half a suitcase to pack in which to be honest I'm going to pick this side because you know the side that's got the rail in that's actually a smaller side so you know I'm going to obviously pick the bigger side. Josh and I are sharing this suitcase now. I'm a girl that likes to overpack um i actually don't think i'm gonna fit everything in here that i want to fit in here so i'll quickly run through what i'm packing and then i can tell you about yesterday whilst i'm packing first up i kind of want to bring this coat it's not a ski jacket but look at this i got this from dhga i think it's like a prada coat because i want to bring this because i have this ski suit from misguided and it's got like the red piping and the red little like badge thing which matches this perfectly but practicality wise for skiing there's no like there's actually no pockets in any of these. Well, there's a pockets in these, but not like a lift pass pocket. And yeah, I don't know. I also do have a proper black ski jacket, but that's at Josh's parents' house, which we're gonna pick up this evening. So I also need room for that. So I think we'll definitely pack this ski suit, but whether I can bring the jacket, because I also wanted to bring these, my red moon boots, because imagine them together, that would be such a cute outfit. But I also want to bring these moon boots. <laughs> which I actually got, again, sent from DHK and they look so legit. Like, these are so cool. I love them. And I really want to bring these. So I think these I might wear to the airport with maybe, like, 
beige leggings, a beige um, like Primark jumper. I'm thinking maybe like these together with these boots and then like a beige coat. So the beige coat I won't ski in. So therefore I can't also bring this coat and a ski coat because that would be three and that would be ridiculous. So maybe the Prada thingy will have to stay here. And then I also have these salopettes, which I'm going to bring with me. They're just like skinny black ones um, because I've worn these before and I know that these are like good, you know, whereas the ski jacket, um, the ski suit I've never worn before. So I don't want to risk, you know, having this is the only thing I bring. And I do also have these salopettes, which I love. These are actually from ASOS, but again, they're like the skinny kind and they're quite fun, but I'm literally skiing for three days. So I don't, I really don't need three different outfits. My boyfriend will kill me if I do that. So I think they will stay here. Um, obviously deodorant I need to pack. I've got all my skincare toiletries in here. Um, I'm just bringing minis of things. I've got the Sol de Janeiro spray because I thought this is better to bring than a perfume because it's not glass. And I'm also bringing my Walida skin food because I thought this is going to be really nice and thick and moisturising because you know like the slopes are going to be quite like cold and chilly. I've got SPF, makeup remover, um, all that good stuff. I've also got, where is it? My makeup bag down here. So this is the size of the makeup bag. There's no way this is being left behind. So let's pop that in there now and then let's pop the toiletries in. Okay, I think we're, do you know what? I think we can be okay. And then jumpers wise, I have a lot of ski related jumpers. Don't know why, I just love them. So I've got this one from Sisters and Seekers, which says the ski resort, classic ski wear. Um, so this is navy and I have this like navy Sisters and Seekers set because I'm not really planning on bringing many like non-skiing clothes. But if we go out for dinner or things like that, I thought I could wear this Sisters and Seekers set and it's kind of cute. So that's like a navy set. I could always wear that underneath my ski wear as thermals as well. And then I've got this little jumper. I have this one. How can I not bring this? This is from Marks and Spencers, but it's giving like Ralph Lauren and he's got little skis on and stuff. And again, that's navy. And then I also have this one from Sisters and Seekers, which has got like a little ski on. I do also have this one from Boohoo, which again is giving Sisters and Seekers vibes. Um, it says ski club on it and it's really soft, but I don't think I'm gonna bring this purely because again, I don't need three jumpers. And then I just have some ski socks, some more ski socks, which Josh's parents actually got me for my birthday and they're new, so I'm excited for them. My ski goggles and one, one pair of thermal leggings. So where is my thermal top? Okay, that's something I need to find. I need to find my thermals. And then last but not least, I'm gonna kind of wear this to the airport, I think, but I've got this top from Girl to Know All. That's what it looks like on the front. And then the back says, I'd rather be skiing. So I'm gonna try and get a picture in this in the airport with my croc boots on, which some people hate, some people love. I think they're super fun. So I'm gonna like put these in my hand luggage and then just change them to them for an Instagram picture because my hand luggage is pretty big. All I'm gonna put in here, might have to bring my laptop, which I'll explain in a minute. And then I just need like my Kindle, my passport, obviously. I mean, everything I need for my hand luggage will fit in here even, I think even with them in there. So, right, let's go my packing. And I will explain about my day yesterday. So yesterday was Tuesday. I had a really busy day because today I'm actually going skiing with Mia. No, I'm not, I'm not going skiing with Mia. Today I'm going into London with Mia, which I was gonna include in this video, but now I'm gonna have to do it as a separate video, but anyway. I'm going into London with Mia today. It is currently eight o'clock in the morning. I was up at six o'clock this morning. Um, but yeah, because I'm in London with Mia all day today, everything I needed to get done before I went skiing needed to be done yesterday. So I woke up and I was feeling quite anxious. My parents went down to Cornwall yesterday. And for some reason, whenever they like leave and go down to Cornwall for the first day or so, it just triggers my anxiety and I just feel really, really anxious. And then once I get into the routine of them not being here and I get into the swing of things, it's okay. But I just woke up yesterday morning feeling really anxious. I was just having a bad mental health day, but I went to Primark because I needed to film a what's new in Primark for yesterday's video. So I went into um, Cambridge to film that. I'm so thirsty. Um, but I don't have any water, so we're just gonna have to carry on. But yeah, I went to Primark um, to film my What's New Primark, got that done, and I was literally walking around Primark, like I was at the tills in Primark feeling like I was about to cry. Like, you know when you just have one of those days where like, 
you were on the verge of tears and I felt like I was going to cry for absolutely no reason. Like there was no need for me to cry. I just felt really like I was just in a bad mental health way yesterday, basically. So anyway, I was leaving Primark and I was texting Josh like, I feel really crap. Like I just feel awful. And he was like, well, maybe, you know, like sometimes you just need to have a cry. So I was like, yeah, well, I don't want to cry in the streets in Cambridge, you know, <laughs> like I'd rather get back to my car. So anyway, I walked to my car. As I approached my car, I'm like, that looks like I have a flat tire. So I texted Josh and I said, I think I've got a flat tire. And he was like, you're joking. Cause he knew how much of a bad day I was having already that like, that was like not what I needed. Obviously a flat tire is just a flat tire. It's not really the end of the world. However, my car has run flats. So um, I don't have a spare tire. To, you know, like if I had a spare tire, okay, I'm sure I could have found some nice person who would have been able to change the tire for me. And I could have just made do on like the spare tire for a few days until I had time to get a new one. But no, I've got run flats and this tire was flat as a pancake. I live about 40 minutes away from Cambridge. So I couldn't really get home on that tire. I also, like I said, am seeing Mia in London today and Mia had already paid for her train ticket and everything and I didn't want to let her down and I also knew that if I couldn't go to London with Mia today, my anxiety would be even worse. But I live in the middle of nowhere, okay? If you don't have a car, you're not getting anywhere and I'm home alone at the moment. There's nobody at home with me. There's nobody that could have come and rescued me from Cambridge. There's nobody that could take me to the station today and pick me up. There's no other car that I can drive, okay? I needed this tire fixed. And obviously when you're already having a bad day, I could have stubbed my toe and it probably would have made me cry. But you know, when you just like, that was the last thing I needed. So anyway, Josh was like, go to Halfords. There's one in the retail park that you're in, which was very convenient. So just go there. They'll be able to change it for you. It'll all be fine. Obviously, it's only a flat tire, it's not the end of the world, but let me tell you, it felt like the end of the world yesterday. So anyway, I quickly popped into um, Asda because I needed to get something for dinner. And whilst I was in Asda, my mum rang me because she needed me to do her a favour. And you know when you're like upset, people can hear it in your voice. So mum was like, hello. And I was like, hi, like really shaky voice. And she was like, are you okay? And you know when you're not okay and someone asks you if you're okay, you then start crying. So then I started crying. I was like, fantastic, I'm in the middle of Asda. She was like, stop being dramatic, it's just a flat tire. And I know that it's just a flat tire and I know there's so much worse going on in the world, but I was having a really bad day. So that was literally the last thing I needed. And like part of the reason why I get anxious about like my parents going away and me being home alone is like, what if something happens and nobody's here? And that is literally what happened yesterday, you know? So anyway, I go to Halfords, I say, I think I've got a flat tire. They go, okay, um, just go sit in your car and uh, we'll come out and have a look at it in a minute. So, okay, no problem. Go and sit in my car. Okay, you are currently overheating. So I'm just gonna turn you off a second so you can cool down. Then we shall carry on the story. Okay, I found a thermal top. I do also have the matching leggings for this, but I can't find them. I think I've left them in the loft and I really can't be bothered to get them. I also don't really have time to get them. So I'm just gonna have to pack this and then I'm also just gonna pack a pair of normal leggings. If I've got time later, I will try and find some more thermals, but we're short on time. So we're just making do with what we've got. Um, and then I'm also gonna pack just some gray leggings to go with the gray jumper for like if I wanna wear it, you know, like after skiing. And then I'm also packing a tripod because I wanna try and get some content. Um, a black thick headband because I think they look really cool when skiing and also a grey headband and then I bought these black sunglasses in the Primark yesterday to go with the headband I think it's going to look quite cool so that's what I'm packing now um so yes anyway I go into Halfords and someone comes out and he goes oh you actually need two new tyres like one of your tyres has actually got a chunk missing out of it and then your tyre that you thought was flat is definitely flat and I think someone slashed your tyre I said excuse me he said, um, yeah, I think someone slashed your tire. I think someone's put a knife in your tire. So obviously I'm in quite an emotional state at this point. And now this man has come here to tell me that someone has slashed my tires. Like who have I pissed off? Who is out there to get me slashing my tires? He also said I had a chunk missing out of my other tire. So I'm thinking, oh my God. And don't get me wrong. I love a bit of dramatization. I'm as dramatic as the next person, probably even more dramatic. But when I actually get out the car and have a look at them, the chunk missing from my tire is like a little bit missing. And to be honest, I'm just a girl. I personally think that that looked fine, but apparently that's not safe. And then the slash in my tire was just like a little um, crack. And I don't know if I got that from a pothole because there's so many, like the potholes around my house are like craters at the moment. They're horrendous. And so many people, um, I'm in like the local residence group for my town, which is such an old lady thing, but it's so entertaining. And so many people have posted in there how like their tires have, um, been like ruined from the pothole so I do think it could potentially be that and I did say that to the guy I was like are you sure it's not like from a bad pothole and he said well it could have been if there was a the right amount of pressure to like burst it but I think someone slit your tire so I was like great fantastic um 
So anyway, they're like, go inside and we'll get you booked in. I think, great. Like, normally in this situation, okay, I am just a girl. I pick the colour of the car and I pick the mate of the car. That is it. If anything goes wrong with my car, I call my dad. And actually, on Monday, before my dad left for Cornwall, um, because I've been in Cornwall for a few weeks and I haven't driven my car for a few weeks, I thought, let's just check my car is all okay before I drive it. And I'm glad I did, because when I started my car up on Monday, an engine warning light came on saying that, like, I needed to check my coolant. And all it was that was that my coolant needed topping up. But in that scenario, I literally just went inside and said, Dad, can you come and look at my car? So normally, if anything goes wrong with my car, I tell my dad. But there was nothing he could do. He's hours away. Both my brothers are away at the moment. Like it was literally the worst timing ever. So anyway, going to Halfords to try and get booked in. And they're like, oh, we can't fit you in today. Can you come back tomorrow? Absolutely cannot come back tomorrow. Cause like I said, I'm in London all day with Mia. Cambridge is also 40 minutes away. So I don't have time to go there and come back. I also said like, I don't live in Cambridge. So like I've got to drive home 40 minutes on a dual carriageway. I don't think I would have made it home on my tire as it was, cause it was so flat. So they then said to go to a different garage down the road cause they've got availability. So I went there, <laughs> told them the story. They said, okay, yeah, like I think we can do it. Then they were like, oh, wait a minute. We've only got two of those tires left in stock. And obviously I needed two. So they were like, let me just check that the system is correct and we do actually have those tyres in stock. So then I'm stood there waiting for ages. They come back, yeah, we can do it, but we can't do it till 4.30. Now at this point, it's 11 a.m. My plan was to quickly pop into Cambridge, film this What's New in Primark. Then I had so much to do, okay? I needed to go home, film a bunch of TikToks, like film a week's worth of TikToks, so that I've got enough to post whilst I'm away. And I'm trying to post three TikToks a day at the moment. So you do the maths, that's a lot of TikToks. I had also planned to pack all my stuff for skiing and film this clip then i also needed to edit the what's new in primark ready to go live at five yesterday which is the whole reason why i went into cambridge in the first place was to film that video and i also needed to get this weekly vlog edited did i do any of that no i didn't i had five hours to kill in cambridge luckily where the garage was um was near the shop so i could walk and go shopping but I wasn't in the mood to shop. I was in such a bad mood. I was so stressed about how I was going to get everything done that I needed to get done because by the time I got home, it was too dark to film and I was just in such a bad mood. And then I was walking around H&M and then I realised I only had 20% charge left on my phone and I didn't have a charger with me. Luckily, Josh works in Cambridge and he actually happens to have a portable charger on him. So I walked. Josh's office, by the way, is like one side of Cambridge and I was on the other side of Cambridge, but I had so much time to kill. So I walked all the way to Josh's office, got the portable charger off him so that I could charge my phone up. We sat and had a coffee and then I felt so much better after that and then long story short the tires got fixed I made it home I got home at about half six I did film some clips yesterday so I will actually insert them in in a minute but yeah that was my day yesterday it was absolutely chaotic so this morning I had to wake up at 6 a.m to get ready so that I could film TikToks and pack for skiing and film this before I need to leave for the station to go to London with Mia that was my day yesterday I planned to film a lot more vlog clips and stuff yesterday but obviously my day just completely went out the window and I know it was only a flat tire and like I said there are so many worse things happening and normally on a normal day a flat tire wouldn't have bothered me that much but it was a fact that I thought how do I get home how am I going to get to London tomorrow it was just so stressful and with my anxiety being already through the roof it just was not what I needed but I had so many lovely people message me yesterday like I put a little story up on my Instagram kind of explaining what happened and like Alana was like I can come and pick you up after work if you need me to and I can take you to the station tomorrow and somebody else was like really sorry I couldn't help but like let me know if you ever need help in the future like always give me a text somebody else that I went to school with was like I work in Cambridge and I've got a charger so you can come and get it off me if you need it like so many people were like there to help me which I really appreciated because like I said part of the reason why I was feeling anxious yesterday anyway was the fact that I was on my own like with no none of my family in anywhere near like surroundings but just knowing that like I've got all these friends that would be able to drop everything and come and help me if I needed to which I didn't realise just was really lovely, if that makes sense. So that was my day yesterday. I'm now going to finish packing for skiing um, and head into London to see Mia. And I'm going to insert in the clips that I filmed yesterday because I did film a couple of weekly vlog clips yesterday. They might be a little bit all over the place and they might be a bit mismatched, but I'm going to edit them in here anyway so you can see them. And I will see you at some point soon with another weekly vlog. Oh my God, why? <laughs> We're in H&M. I was going to try and film a bit of a come shop me to try and make, you know, when life gives you lemons, when life gives you two flat tyres and you're stranded in Cambridge for five hours, film a come shop with me. But I'm just not feeling it, to be honest. I'm so tired. I've only eaten a banana, so I think I need to get some food. And then maybe after that, we can do a bit of a come shop with me. I thought I'd just show you the outfit of the day. It's very grey, which matches my mood and the vibe for today. 
my coat is actually H&M. I got this, this is my bargain coat I got with Mia. And then my little two piece, this pretty little thing. And then I've just got grey Converse on and a grey bag. And that literally matches my mood today. I'm feeling great, I'm feeling glum. Oh. Right, if I see anything nice, I'll show you. I think I just need to eat because like I said, I've only eaten a banana today and it's now midday. So I'm starving, which isn't helping how I'm feeling. So I'm gonna eat some food and then maybe we can have a little Zara and stuff together. This is actually a really cute DV cup. Oh my God, only 19.99 as well. I think that's for a single though, but that is so nice. I'm in H&M home now. Oh, wow, that is not a bit of me, but look at how bright that color is. That's what it looks like. I mean, definitely wouldn't have it on my bed. Oh my gosh, these dressing gowns look so cute. It's crazy what a bit of retail therapy can do for your mood. That's quite nice. Oh my God, I love. I've got 20% left on my phone. Just when I thought the day couldn't get any worse. I normally always come out with my phone fully charged, but I didn't today because I thought it's fine. I can charge it in the car. I now don't have my car and I've got 20% on my phone and I've got to last five hours in Cambridge with 20% on my phone. <laughs> We have a charger and we also have a coffee. Thanks very much to my wonderful boyfriend who very luckily, luckily, that's not even a word, um, works in Cambridge and has managed to provide these goods to make my day a little bit more bearable. I finally have some food. It is 10 to one. Josh bought me a coffee though. The portable charger's run out of charge, but I've got 63. Yeah, 63%. So that should last me the next few hours. I've got myself tango apple and I got this new, um, this new burrito beefy melt which sounds delicious i'm starving i don't really care what eat i also got the um nacho cheese sauce to have the chips because i love it okay taco bell has been had i'm feeling a lot better it's half two so i don't have too long to kill now so i'm gonna go and do some shopping let's make this a little bit better of a day let's go and have a little come shop with me i'm gonna start off in tk max i don't normally go to this tk max i normally go to the one in the retail park where i found out that my tire was ruined um <laughs> so i didn't end up going there today oh they've got loads of the inky list in here don't think I need any Sin Bright moisturizer. That looks quite nice. Also, just lost a nail. So let's just ignore that, okay? Like, there's worse things going on in the world than a nail coming off, but like, it's just not cute, is it? $6.99 instead of $12.99. I've not heard about that, but it says for dull skin and I love a little bit of bright skin. So I don't think I've ever needed something so random more in my life. Look at these. Stroop waffle bag clips. These are like the caramel waffles you get from Starbucks, which I love, but it's a bag clip. That is the most random thing ever. Like, whoever thought of that? Honestly, but two nine. Oh, these are nine pound. Are you joking? Who's paying nine pound for that? Two ninety nine though. I mean, I really don't need any bag clips, but if I did, I would definitely get those because I love these kind of awful things. That is so random, but I love it. Oh my god, this is a little bit of me pistachio ice cream, but it's not ice cream because it says no ice cream, but it looks like an ice cream. That looks delicious. That is such a bit of me. I've also just seen these as well just like the bottom chocolate bit of the ice cream cones but i'm not a big fan of ice cream cones to be honest i'd rather i'm always like a tub over a cone girly but these look delicious look at how cute this bunny is i don't know why i love it so much i don't like the bow on it i would take that off but like it's just a big oversized little ceramic bunny decoration that is so cute i can't help myself when it comes to decorating for every single season like oh look at how cute i've got something similar to this at home already just can't help it i'm not even like a bunny a bunny fan you know like i don't have a bunny but i still just think they're so cute like look at this for a cookie jar or something that is adorable as a neutral girly i can really appreciate this oh my god that's kind of scared me a little bit why is there like a pigeon in that that was really cute to start with like a cute little easter wreath and then i just saw that like why have we added that i'm unsure oh my god look what i've just found marshmallow cream soda and it's neutral and it's one of the cool can ones that is a little bit me that's disgusting that is not a bit of me that i thought it was going to smell like vanilla because of like cream soda and stuff it doesn't that is so sweet this one is so cute look it's like a little letter oh my god that is so heavy it's like a little letter box what does it smell like oh it smells quite nice it kind of smells like a strawberry lemonade thing they also have a cotton candy fizz one what's this so this is another squishy lid thing easter brunch punch <gasps> milk chocolate bunnies that is so cute we all know i love these recipe card candles and that is such a nice color pink and it's oh look they've got the heart candles still they've got loads of them i'm surprised they still have loads of them left oh she's broken that's probably why me too sis me too i'm gonna smell this one disgusting absolutely vile like to be fair it smells like chocolate which i mean what do you expect but that is not a nice smell i kind of love these i don't know what they are i'm also please youtube don't copyright me today like i can't cope with that today but like i think it's a vase or something oh yeah there you go two vases for 7.99 oh my god i don't really want to have to carry that all the way back to my car but i love them i kind of love this i probably wouldn't actually have it in my house but i can appreciate it looking nice you know they've also got loads of um bare brick dupes in as well which again 
isn't a bit of me, but I know a lot of people love them and they've got quite a lot in here. Oh, they've also got this one as well. To be fair, name me a better shop to just kill loads of time in than TK Maxx, because I honestly don't think there is one. Like, there's just so much random stuff. Like, look at all these bottles. There's so much stuff to look at. Like, it's almost a very good place to be stuck slash stranded because you could just kill so much time in here. I'm now in Zara, but I'm literally not seeing anything. Like, there's just nothing I'm liking. Like, what is this? Do you know what I mean? There's just like, I've gone through the whole bottom floor and there's nothing. Normally upstairs, I do tend to prefer the stuff, but at the moment I'm not seeing anything. So, oh, I've seen this online actually, this like pink shirt with red piping, and then they've got the matching trousers. But there's just not anything, like, I'm not in the mood to shop. And also there's not really like great stuff in the shop. So it's a bit of a failure, really. This is giving Sue Sylvester from Glee. Like it's a red, like satin, shiny, kind of like sports two piece. And I literally can't see past that being Sue Sylvester. This top is quite pretty to be fair. It's like a satin little like bow up top. And I also quite like the look of this bodysuit. It's quite similar to like, they've got maxi dresses like this. And they've also now obviously got the bodysuit, which I quite like. Here we go. It's like um, Blue Peter. Here's what I was talking about. Um, these are like the maxi dresses. And I have tried this on is really flattering um, and I quite like that they've now like I said I'm just repeat myself I like that they now have a bodysuit version of that I also have blisters on my feet now because I don't normally wear these shoes I'm normally an ugg girly but because it was forecast to rain today I didn't want to risk it so I put these on because I thought I wasn't going to be walking around too much and I didn't think I'd have them on for too long so now I have blisters just add that to the list <laughs> this cardigan is kind of cute I mean it's just randomly tucked there but it feels really soft I think this is the same thing I feel like with some jeans and stuff in the springtime that could look really cute Oh my God, something good has happened today. I have finally, after searching for years, managed to find the white strawberries in M&S. Am I about to spend £3.50 on them? Yes, I am. I'm actually so happy they have them. I didn't think they were gonna have them, but I thought, whilst they've got like 500 hours to kill, I might as well have a look in M&S and see if they've got them. And lo and behold, they do. I'm in Lululemon and look at how nice this is. The colour is not doing it justice on camera, it's the nicest pink colour ever. We're back, we have the car, Halla Flippin' Luya. Um, I've just spent about £300 on this car because my tyres cost me £214.96 um, and then I had to fill her up with diesel at the same time, which was fantastic. But the main thing is that she's back and I've decided that on my way home I'm going to get a McFlurry because A, I just feel like I'm, I can, you know, don't need to justify it, but I can, I can, you know, treat myself to a McFlurry today. Uh, it's the last, least thing I can do for myself. And B, I haven't tried the Kit Kat McFlurry yet, and I'm pretty sure they're getting rid of them quite soon. Like I feel like they've only really recently got them, um, and they're bringing out a new McDonald's menu. I think it's like the Easter one. Um, why am I telling you all this information? Um, on the 12th of March, and I think I'm still away skiing by then. So basically, I don't really have much time left to try it. So hence why we're about to, well, hence why we're in the McDonald's like, drive-through. Okay. Oh, please don't curb. Oh my God, I've just curbed my back tire. Are you joking? <laughs> please. Arrgh. This is when they tell me the um, milkshake machine. No, the ice cream machine's not working. Hi, can I say good, please? Hello, please, can I just have a Kit Kat McFlurry? A what, sorry? A Kit Kat McFlurry. Is that the chocolate or ruby one? The chocolate one, please. Yep, anything else? That's everything, thank you. Cheers, nice to meet you. Thank you. It is now five o'clock. I have literally been out since um, like 20 past eight this morning. Thank you. Mm. Are they like mixed up? I need to just like pull in somewhere so I can try it. Um, oh no, all the waiting bays are like full. Oh no, he's going. Could you move forward, please? It looks like they've like mixed it. Can you see what I mean? She did put it up to something. I watched her make it. Oh my God, this actually looks so good. Like this looks like one of the best McFlurries I've ever had in my life. That is actually one of the best McFlurries I've ever had in my life. And it's literally got chocolate sauce all the way through it. I'm just confused. I really think they might've mixed that together, which I've never seen before, but I'm so here for that. Whilst we're here, let's quickly try um, the white chocolate strawberries that I got earlier. I probably should wash these before I eat them. It says pink blush strawberries with a pineapple aroma and a hint of vanilla. This is what they look like. Someone tell me why I spent £3.50 on these when they taste like a normal strawberry. The only difference is they're white. I mean, look how weird that looks. Now I just can't get my head around, but like, why have I spent £3.50 on that? I'm actually unsure. I mean, they're nice, but like, I'm not getting vanilla or pineapple. I'm kind of getting flavourless, watery strawberry, which is <laughs> really not what I wanted. I'm going to go home, get a bunch of editing done. My What's New in Primark that I filmed this morning was meant to go live 10 minutes ago. I'm not even home yet, so I'm just going to have to post that video tomorrow. Um, 
because I'm just not gonna like get it I'm not gonna be able to get it up at a decent time which is the whole reason why I went to Cambridge this morning in the first place so you know like that's just fantastic isn't it this though this is so good this is really what I needed to say so yeah I'll be home about half five and then that's it I'm gonna watch Big Brother because I haven't seen it um I haven't watched last night's Big Brother yet because it started last night, the Celebrity Big Brother, and I'm so excited about it. And Sharon Osbourne is in it, and Louis Walsh is in it. Um, so I just think it's going to be iconic. And Ek and Sue is in it, and I don't know who else is in it, but I literally can't wait. Um, I never used to watch Big Brother. Like, when it came back last year, with, like, Jordan and Henry in, that's the first year I watched it, and I was obsessed with it. And I'm really struggling to, like, find stuff to watch at the moment. I finished watching One Day the other day, and I'm not going to lie, I didn't cry. Um, like... <laughs> That's me crying about a flat tyre earlier on today, but like I didn't cry um, at the last episode of One Day, like I know like most people did. Like, don't get me wrong, it was sad, but I didn't love it as much as other people did. I preferred normal people. Like, I watched it because everyone said how good it was, but I didn't really get into it till right near the end. And then, yeah, I mean, it was a sad episode, but I didn't cry. But other than that, I've not been watching anything recently because I just don't feel like there's much on TV. Like, I've kind of watched everything that I've wanted to watch. I'm so glad that Celebrity Big Brother is now on, so I've like got something new to watch. I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm actually in a bay that I shouldn't be in because I've got my order. Luckily, no one else is here though, so it's not an issue. Yeah, I'm gonna finally go home, put my pajamas on as soon as I walk through that door. Well, have a shower and all that, you know. But yes, I will see you tomorrow. But I'm gonna have to edit this in some weird way. <laughs>